I, I think that there, there's, there's good industry information, uh, and, and I, per, I have some personal anecdotal uh, information uh, as well. Uh, as you probably know, to develop a drug takes a long time. It costs a lot of money uh, in, in order to do that. Uh, my last company was a bog, not bog standard, it was a very progressive <laughs> uh, biotechnology company. Uh, and it was truly one of the faster companies. Uh, and after 10 years, when, when I sold that company, we had a, a pipeline of assets, you know, with, with kind of a couple of phase two assets, a couple of phase one assets, and, and maybe four or five preclinical assets. Uh, it cost me a lot of money to get them to that stage, and it took me a lot of time, a decade, to get yep. to, to that stage. Uh, and within Benevolent at the moment, we have three, four phase two programs, a couple phase one programs, and about 20 uh, programs that are, are in preclinical development. Uh, and that's all within, I mean, the company's been around for a long time, but its drug development division of this company's been around for about 18 months or so. So in 18 months, I've built the same pipeline that I built in my last company, which took me 10 years. Uh, so. It is, it is an awful lot faster. And I can case diseases that I never would have been able to case before. You know, I can look at some of the most complex, complicated diseases that are out there. And those are the ones we gravitate towards. You know, something like ALS or any number of the ones that, that sit on our pipeline are just very, very complex diseases. And you need to hold in your consciousness so many different variables in order to do that. Our system currently holds, I think, something like 220 million variables simultaneously. I can barely hold four in my head. 